Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kenny Martin Cross Nation, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the new Marluxia Plus medal that we just got for today's uh, Organization 13 event. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of on the fence about whether or not to get this medal, uh, especially because the fact it doesn't really bring anything like new to the table for the most part. Um, it only has one like slightly new mechanic. Uh, which is the fact that the debuffs that he applies works as an AoE effect despite the fact that Marluxia himself is a random target metal, uh, which is honestly pretty cool. But before I get into whether or not you should pull from this banner, whether or not you should get the medal or not and such, let's go over what he does first for anybody who's not aware. So this is Marluxia plus right here, that's what he looks like, and this is his ability. It's honestly very straightforward, very similar to Psyx plus in a lot of ways, um, which is that he is a speed reverse metal tier 8. Uh, random target, cost 6 gauges, has a 24.09 6 star multiplier. In a nutshell, his multiplier is literally the exact same multiplier as Psyx Plus. And for many of us within the community, we know that Psyx Plus is literally one of the best damage medals in the game. He's very strong. Uh, but his ability is that for two turns, he raises your reverse strength by three tiers, your general strength and speed strength by seven tiers, and lowers the target's defense, general defense, by four tiers. One thing worth noting about his ability, which for some reason isn't actually listed in his ability, nor is it actually listed in his actual metal ability too. So like if I were to uh, go to the metal himself, uh, there we go. If you actually look at his ability, it actually does not state at all, at all whatsoever, about the fact that his debuff is an AOE ability. My only assumption is that they're working off the fact that it says targets, and they're trying to play off the fact that just adding the S <laughs> there is what defines the AOE-ness. If, and if that's the case, that that's going to be super misleading to a lot of people. Um, like and it's, a lot of people are gonna miss it or just not realize that basically uh, but just to let you guys know that the debuff the minus four general uh, defense debuff that Marluxia plus applies is an AOE effect he will only deal damage to one enemy but his debuff does apply to all enemies okay so it's a very important distinction to make primarily because of the fact that this makes Marluxia the very first uh, random target metal, as far as I'm aware, that actually provides debuffs at all whatsoever, which is kind of huge for a variety of reasons. Uh, one of them being that those rare situations and where we can only use random target metals for like proud mode type quests and such, being able to have a debuffer of any sort is going to be super important uh, and very useful. Another reason is also because of the fact that, because of the fact he also pretty much fully buffs up uh, all your strength aside from reverse, um, but that's fairly easy to get to max, um, and provide some general defense debuffs as well, you can quite easily just use Marluxia Plus and with like a prime metal, such as like maybe Roxas and Shion, for example, and you would have all of your buffs and debuffs for the most part. You'll be missing uh, just one uh, reverse strength buff, but that's not a big deal because as soon as you use another tier 7 reverse metal that's like tier 4 or higher, you'll immediately max that out, which isn't a big deal. Now, in terms of whether or not you should actually pull from his banner, pull for him himself specifically, first of all, if any of you guys happen to have Psyx Plus in the past, you guys know Psyx Plus is already a beast of a metal himself. And because of the fact that Marluxia is a speed reverse metal and is essentially basically the exact same thing as Psyx, if not a little bit better, just because of the fact that his ability is just better than Psyx's, uh, which gives him a little bit better utility. Uh, on top of the fact that out of all attributes within the game, Speed Reverse is by far the like one of the worst uh, attributes in the entire game. It has the least amount of support um, and only has like a handful of decent medals uh, in the entirety of the game. Okay, like still to this day, 
HD Lark Scene is still a really good metal for Speed Reverse, despite it being a tier 6 metal that came out like over a year ago. Uh, and that's saying something because HD Lark Scene isn't even that great of a metal compared to other metals in the game. She's actually below average a little bit at this point now. Um, so just the fact that I'm saying she's actually pretty good for Speed, res uh, for speed Reverse specifically should be an indication of like how the uh, situation is for a speed reverse as a whole. Um, so when I'm telling you that like Marluxia Plus is by far a huge like benefit to speed reverse in general, uh, that should be a little bit of a red flag to you, especially if you end up using Keyblades such as like Divine Rose for example that you can only use for this week's Organization 13 event. Uh, if you end up using metals that require the speed reverse slot, which is going to be pretty much every single speed keyblade and random keyblades such as like Stroke of Midnight or uh, Olympia, it is worth having at least one or two uh, really decent speed reverse metals underneath your be belt just for those type of slots. Um, especially if you don't already have a majority of the tier 5 prime metals such as uh, Roxas and Shion. But anyways, in terms of whether or not you should actually pull for him, uh, what I have to say is, for the most part, Marluxia Plus isn't anything game-changing. He doesn't change the meta. He's not even in the meta, to be honest. Um, but at the same time, he is a metal that's really good, and if you do choose to spend your jewels to get him, it would not be a waste of jewels either. This is one of those situations where the metal is worth the jewels, but at the same time, the metal itself uh, at least for more of the veteran players, I should add, who are just looking for the next game-changing medal to actually spend their jewels on, isn't something to, like, write home about. Like, quite literally, he's, he's for the most part, basically just a speed-reverse version of Psyx Plus. So, if you liked Psyx Plus, and you want another hard-hitting damage medal, go for Marluxia Plus. Uh, if any of you guys are a beginner or intermediate player, and you don't have medals uh, such as like Vanita's Remnant B from the previous VIP deals, or you don't have Illustrated Invisible, which is the basically a single target version uh, of Marluxia Plus, uh, with about the same type of multiplier, just slightly higher by like 0 0.03 or something. It's very minuscule. If you don't already have hard hitting medals like that, and actually both of those were VIP medals if I remember correctly. If you don't have like really good speed reverse medals like that, then I would say by far get Marluxia Plus, especially if you're free to play. Uh, just because of the fact you're not going to have those VIP medals that I just men mentioned. And Marluxia Plus is probably going to be by far one of your strongest speed reverse medals you're going to have in a very long time. Considering the fact that the vent itself gives you 5,000 jewels, assuming you can complete the whole thing, even if you can't complete the whole thing, you can get at least like two, 3,000 jewels fairly easily from the event. Uh, it's falling price as well. Like, it, it's really easy to obtain this medal. So overall, personally for me, I think it has a little bit more worth of actually getting the medal than it is to skip it. But at the same time, I completely understand if you think you might just end up skipping it for this month. Chances are anyways that we will end up getting the medal for free anyways in like maybe a few months or so when they uh, bring back the previous Organization 13 events again for the previous members in case you happen to miss any of them. Uh, in which case like if you're able to complete enough of the content you're awarded a free copy of the medal. Um, but in order to do that, you're going to need to be having strong medals in the first place to get that free medal. So just keep that in mind if you end up choosing to go that route. Last but not least, uh, what I want to talk about real quick is about the fact that I know a lot of people tend to complain about the fact that the Organization 13 banners tend to reprint the same exact like few medals every single time. Uh, to which I just want to point out real quick, and it's pretty much been something that I've been doing for the longest time, uh, and I've been trying to suggest to players like, like these last few months or so. Uh, what I suggest though is that don't worry too much about the fact that you're getting multiple copies of the same like tier seven and six medals. What I suggest to you is that instead of like seeing it as a waste, uh, I suggest trying to re-roll your traits for those tier seven, tier six medals and try to get the raid boss traits for them instead. And just try and turn those tier seven, tier six medals into pure rating, rating traits. I mean, rating medals. This is for a variety of reasons, one of them primarily because of the fact that a bunch of the 
uh, tier 7, tier 6 medals that we get from the banners anyways these days aren't really used that too much in the first place these days anyways. Uh, so in which case, one way to actually make use of those medals is to make, it, make them into raiding medals. So in that case, even if you don't actually use them for the rest of the game, at the very least you have some pretty damn solid raid boss medals that you can use for competitive weeks and such. Because of the fact that we still have quite a few Organization 13 uh, events still to come, um, chances are you're still going to be seeing a lot of these medals in the future anyways. So you might as well try and make some really good medals that you can take advantage of uh, for raiding. And just to even give an example, I'll, I'll show you guys some of my medals that I've built up o over the past few months or so that have like really helped me out a lot uh, for my raiding setups. So let me just quickly go to my raids. Okay, uh, let me turn on tier 6 and up. All right, so take a look at this. My HD Armor of Ericus, two Ray Boss traits and a Ground trait. I, I'm trying to replace that Ground trait with a Ray Boss trait, but it still has two Ray Boss traits and I put a uh, Luck skill on it and this guy is an absolute monster. I have a you know Riku and Pain, which has triple Ray Boss traits. This is literally one of my best Ray Boss traits in the entire game right now. And it's, an clear, it's a very clearly an outdated metal but because of the fact that I just spent time focusing on giving it raid boss traits, it went from being a useless metal that I don't really use anymore to being a metal I use all the time for raiding purposes. Another example is like my Tifa and Aerith, for example, okay? This also has double raid. It's actually pretty strong hitting for a low damage uh, old tier 6 AoE metal. Okay, those two rating traits really made the difference to like, and I can use this on my Finrear in my competitive uh, power upright uh, luck setups and such. Like, uh, specifically against raid bosses, a lot of these medals right here that have multiple raid traits just because I spent time uh, making sure that they had them end up being like way better than some of my more OP medals, like my OP tier 7, tier 8 medals that are 7 star. So I highly recommend that instead of looking at the guaranteed medals that we have in the banner as a kind of like waste or just being annoyed by it, I suggest trying to look on the brighter side of it and try to take advantage of the fact that you're actually getting uh, multiple copies of the same metal to get the actual traits that you would prefer for them, okay? Because, to be honest, in this game, we don't get a lot of reprints in general in the first place, so take advantage of what you can get. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. This is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. As well as the fact that if you like the channel and enjoy the content that I provide, please consider becoming a sponsor for the channel. But other than that, my name is Brian from King Martin Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.